It'll be weeks before the harbor is sprinkled with a rainbow of lobster buoys, but already beneath the surface, ghost traps tell the stories of seasons past. Ready? Okay. It could last the lifetime of two people. It is the project Buzz Scott and his team at the nonprofit Oceanswide are embarking on, ridding the ocean floor of abandoned lobster traps. It's a huge problem, but it's spread out so far and wide that it's hard for anybody to really get in there and do it um, right. But that's what they're trying to do. Armed. Armed. Using remotely operated vehicles or ROVs. Um, that is a trap, my friends. Yep. Side scan sonars. You can see here escape vents that are not fully broken free yet. And scuba divers. <sighs> to find and pull up old traps. The cleanup effort will eventually take them up and down the coastline, but right now they're in Booth Bay Harbor. If a trap gets cut off and it's, it's still fishable, it can continue to fish for an undetermined amount of time. And those animals that are in there, yeah, they can kind of come and go, but not really. Earlier this year, they recovered 3,000 traps from Gouldsboro. For me, it's how can we help to clean these up to give fishermen back the bottom space, to give fish back the bottom space. These are kind of jaggedy, pointy traps that are taking up real estate on the bottom. It's hard to make a dent, but the plan is they won't stop until there's nothing left to clean up. In Booth Bay Harbor, Alice Keefe, WMTW News 8.